So uh, the first thing when you're looking at a mammogram uh, for screening is to um, mark on the form that you've got previous for comparison. The next thing you want to do is um, sort of sit back and just take in the whole picture and see if there's anything that looks noticeably different between the previous exam and the current exam. And right away my eye is drawn to a spot over here I'm going to come back to in a second. So then we get up close and w we've got to um, classify how dense the breast is, how much fat, how much dense tissue. And uh, with this, it's, I would say it's between 25 and 50 percent. So I'm going to mark that on the form. And then now uh, we pick up the magnifying glass and we start looking for abnormalities. And an abnormality doesn't necessarily mean a cancer. It could be um, a benign lump or an area of benign calcification. But right away, that little spot that caught my eye from back here, I can see is a cluster of calcification. And there wasn't anything there before. So I'm going to mark it on this film. And I'm not going to get excited about it yet because I want to remember to look at the rest of the film, make sure there's nothing else uh, new or abnormal on this side. And then I'm going to go, these are the top to bottom squish pictures of the breast. We call them craniocaudal. And then these views are taken with the breast compressed from side to side at an oblique angle. So the white triangle you see up here, that's the pectoral muscle. And then here's the breast here and uh, the nipples around that level on this patient. So I'm looking for anything abnormal and right away of course I can see that cluster of calcification that I saw on the other view. So now I know how to figure out roughly where it is in the breast so I can mark it on the diagram. But before I do that I'm going to have a really good look at the rest of both breasts. There's some calcification here but it's typically benign calcification. Um, and it, in fact, it's unchanged since the previous, and I'm comparing with 2009 here. So the rest of the mammogram is fine. So based on where it is on these two films, I can tell you that it's in the right upper outer quadrant, the upper outer area of the breast. So I'm going to mark that on the diagram. I'm going to say it's calcification. Well, I'm supposed to mark whether it's low, medium, or high suspicion. And um, this is an extra way of magnifying it. Now, of course, when we get digital, I won't be using either of these. I can just zoom in. And because it'll be such a high resolution image, um, I'll be able to keep the detail even while I'm zooming. And you know what? These are moderately suspicious, like they might even be cancer. So I'm going to write moderate. And I'm going to say she needs additional mammographic views.